Welcome back to another On Into Golf video. This is part two of my Skylinks at Long Beach vlog. Without giving it away, I do not know what happened with my swing from hole nine to hole 10. I was feeling good, even par, and ready to take down the back nine, and things just didn't go my way. I battled my swing and fought hard to salvage a semi-decent round. I can say not taking my medicine led to an extra stroke or two. As always, please feel free to smash the like button, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to know when I upload new content. Thank you for watching, peace out. Hole 10 is a drivable par 4 if you cut the severe dogleg. It measures 313 on the card, but taking it over the left trees makes it play a lot shorter. Well, I'm going for it. And another double cross. Flare to the right. Not what I wanted, but not a problem, right? I have an open shot to the green with an approach wedge. Should be a birdie or par at the worst. And that ball is gone. It just sailed over the green into no man's land. Now I have a very difficult shot, and saving bogey is going to be a challenge. I want to bump it into the hill and let it bounce up and trickle over onto the green. Well, that came out so hot, I <laughs> skidded off the hill and just kept going into the greenside bunker. Let's try to get up and down for bogey. Not a terrible bunker shot, but saving bogey doesn't look probable. A little tester to make double. Plus 2 through 10. <laughs> Not the way I was imagining starting off the back nine. Hole 11 is a longish par 5 playing longer because it's dead into the wind. I want to flight my driver low to pierce the wind. Objective attained. A really good drive sets me up pretty to go for it in two. I pull my three wood and let it rip. Not a great swing. I flare it out to the right and now I'm just hoping that I have a shot into the green. My third shot is going to be tricky. It's doable to get it to the green and escape with, with a par just my luck. I hit it decently and it looked like I was going to pull it off and then it catches the curbs of the car path and I get denied. Ooh. Up and down for par. <laughs> wow, I'm making a mess of this hole. Up and down for bogey. Almost saved far. Tap in for bogey. Plus three through 11. Plenty of holes left to get these strokes back. Hole 12 is a gentle dog leg to the right playing 340. I'm hitting driver challenging the right side. Wow, what is going on? Although I hit an absolutely terrible tee shot, I have a good yardage and a non-obstructed shot to the green. With an audience behind me adding pressure, time to clutch up. Clutch up I did, and stuff that one to six feet. Let's take care of the course, and the course will take care of you. That one hurt. I, I really needed that. I would have stolen one after that drive if I could have made that. Hole 13 is a par 3 playing 167 yards into the wind. Coming over the top, shut the club face down and voila, <laughs> snap hook left. Let's see if my short game can bail me out again. A decent pitch gives me a chance to save par. 8 feet uphill. Just slides by on the low side. Plus 4 through 13. Hole 14 is another sharp dog leg left. Cutting the corner I can possibly reach. Sling, don't fail me now. Well, same as hole 10. I'm in play, but I'm blocked out by a tree forcing me to make a decision. I want to go over, my dad said go under and play a little left. Who do you think was right? <laughs> you guessed my dad, you guessed correctly. You guessed me, well you were very wrong. Making a mess of this hole now too. Let's see if I can give myself a chance at par and make nothing worse than a bogey. Not the greatest shot. I have about 40 feet to see if I can two putt. A three putt cost me another double. Hole 15 is a par 5, dogleg left playing 482. Fresh off a double, I'm a little steamed and try to take it out on the golf ball. I want to cut the corner so I line up left and just make another horrible swing. Left, going left. I just hope I have some sort of a shot. Could have been worse, I have a shot into the green. I just need to go up and over these trees. I'm hitting 7 iron. That came out absolutely perfect. Alright, I hit the green in 2, let's roll the eagle putt. Oh. 
So close. I'll take a tap in birdie right about now. Hole 16 is a very short par 3 playing 111. Let's give myself another chance at birdie. Three quarter approach wedge. I'm left with 20 feet below the hole. Not bad, a tap in par. Hole 17 is a straightaway par 4 playing 387. I'm not gonna lie here, I got away with one. I pushed squeezes to the right and I was heading into no man's land. We knew I was probably gonna have a restricted shot into the green. When we got there, the ball was all the way over to the left side, hit, sitting pretty in the fairway. I got a luck kick off of one of those trees. Thank you, trees. Another reason to stop global warming. Okay, let's capitalize on some good fortune. A push lie sends it to the right of the green, leaving another tricky up and down. A good chip leaves me four feet for par. Again, I'll take a par off that tee shot. Hole 18 is a par four to finish with water guarding the green for your approach. Um, it's playing 410. One more good tee shot and we can salvage the damage I incur on the back nine. Well, that's not gonna do it. I'm in trouble again if I can even find my ball. I hit a provisional just in case. Why couldn't I have done that the first time? Like seriously, why? I found my ball and I have no options except to punch it out and give myself a chance to get up and down. A very successful punch leaves me still a ways back from hitting 7-iron. Come on, suck it up, one last good swing. Couldn't have been more happy with that considering how I have battled my swing on the back nine. I'm on the green with an outside chance to save par. A two putt will minimize the damage. I gave it a chance, but I don't make it easy on myself. A knee-knocking three-footer for bogey is not what I wanted. <laughs> wow, that thing tried its hardest not to go in the hole. I'm just lucky that gravity exists, and it caught it enough to send it into the bottom of the cup. Six over on the back for a round of 78. Yeah, that wasn't my greatest round. That, uh, sadness. If you like what you see here on my channel, please consider subscribing, liking this video, and leave a comment. Hit the notification bell to know when I upload new content. I reply to all the comments. Thank you for watching. Peace out.